Hello and welcome. Replacement decision. In the previous lectures, we discussed the replacement of single asset at a time. The high cost asset, the running cost of which increases with time and its efficiency decreases with time. Now, in this case, we are going to discuss replacement of very small parts or components which are used in large number at a time. And sudden failure in case of functioning of such part or component is possible. For example, in this case, in a factory building, there are 10,000 LED bulbs for the purpose of better lightings. Now, it is not possible that all 10,000 bulbs have same life, same longevity. No, it is not possible. They all will have different life span and at the end of individual life span, the bulb will stop to work. Sudden failure. The bulb is on and suddenly it gets off. So this kind of sudden failure is possible in case of more parts and components. In this kind of asset, we have two alternatives, individual replacement and group replacement. We have to use both the policies, but the question is when to stop using the individual replacement policy. Because say in this example, there are 10,000 bulbs. If any one bulb fails at a time, we should not go for replacing all 10,000. We should replace that particular bulb. Uh, in this case, the maximum life possible is 6 months. No doubt, practically the LED bulbs have to say greater life, but in this example only. Now, in this 6 months, all 10,000 bulbs will stop to work, but not at a single point of time. Many number of bulbs will say fail in the next day many another day another day another day but in six months we are expecting that all 10,000 at different points of time will fail to work and we will have to replace all of them now the question is till which point we should continue with individual replacement because only one bulb at any point of time of a day fails to work we have to replace only one in a day, so many, 10, 15, 20, 100 bulbs fail, we have to replace each and every. But at a particular point of time, we have to stop individual replacement and to think about the group replacement. To replace all 10,000 in this example. A point of time will come. Now we want to know that particular point of time in advance to frame our policy. For this much period, we will go for individual replacement and at the end of that particular period, we will go for replacement of all 10,000 bulbs in this case. So, this is the case of small assets with negligible individual cost, but they are used in bulb. That's why they involve high cost, but sudden failure is possible and <coughs> Individual replacement is also possible and bulk or group replacement is also possible. And we ultimately want to know the point of time at which we should go for group replacement and within this time we prefer individual replacement. Okay. Now the data is there are 10,000 ideal bulbs in a factory building. The cost if replaced individually rupee 1 per bulb. And if replaced all at a time, rupees 0.35. This is benefit for bulk purchase. The probability distribution of survival as well as failure is available. In calculations, we need not use the survival rate. It is just as a part of question. Life is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 months. Maximum life possible is 6 months. Probability of failure is given to be in this column. First of all, we need to calculate the expected number of, sorry, expected life. And that will be T into P of T. 1 into 0 0.03, 0 0.03. 2 into 0 0.07, 0 0.14. 3 into 0 0.2, 0 0.6. 4 into 0 0.5, 0 0.7. 5 into 0 0.8, 0 0.9. 6 into 0 0.7, 0 0.8. 7 into 0 0.9, 0 0
4 into 0.4, 1.6, 5 into 0 0.15, 0 0.75, 6 into 0 0.15, 0 0.90. Sigma t into p of t comes to 4.02. So, expected life. is equal to 4.02 months on an average we can expect life of approximately 4 months of a bulb now on the basis of this we can calculate average monthly failures or the number of failures or number of failures per month that will be total number of bulbs divided by expected life that will be 10,000 divided by 4.02 equals to approximately 2,488 so we can expect that by individual replacement on an average within 6 months we will be replacing 2,488 bulbs or parts or components whatever the case may be so we have to replace these number of bulbs every month at a cost of rupee 1. So we can expect the cost expected cost of individual replacement will be 2488 bulbs or parts or components into rupee 1 because we are not going to replace all these at a particular point of time in a month in all days we will be replacing different number of bulbs as and when a bulb stops to work so every month 2488 will be the cost of individual replacement of bulb every day we will be replacing different number of bulbs this was part one of the solution and discussion of this case in the next part we are going to learn totally new things and ultimately in three parts we shall complete the discussion of all of this case this was the first part in many reference book this step has been discussed as step two but I personally preferred to discuss this as step 1 the reason will be disclosed in the forthcoming lecture that's it thank you very much